Hello, Scott. Hello. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Very good indeed. Good. Thank you very much for taking the time to uh, speak with me today. So I really enjoyed this film. Um, I knew nothing about it going into it, but <laughs> all of you were just terrific in it. Good. Well, that's a good start. What sort of preparation did you have to do when playing this character? And how did you perfectly nail that accent? Well, um, that was one of the key things in a way, because once you get the voice, you know, you it, a character can start to come alive for you. Um, it was a very key thing for me. And I was very clear uh, that I would, I wanted to be very specific with the North Dakota accent uh, and not just do a kind of generalized American accent. Um, so I worked with a, a dialect coach in England who I've worked with several times. He's rather brilliant. And he helped me to get there with the accent, which was, uh, yeah, very specific for North Dakota. It's very tuneful. It's much less flat than the usual American accent. It's quite musical in a way. So that was key. Um, the period I knew quite a bit about from other projects that I've done that have been set in the 50s. And then I kind of really just honed in on Blanche and what I thought she might look like. And, you know, I, I and again, and again, this is very much a collaboration with the other people on the creative team, the director, costume designer, hair and makeup and all of that. But I kind of had a very strong opinion that she should be sort of modeling herself on one of those screen goddesses you know and she kind of thinks that she's still still got some kind of screen goddessy thing about her even though she clearly hasn't but you know the peroxide hair with the roots growing out and the red lips and the red nails but you know with Blanche it's um you kind of look at her and think that she's not she's not quite clean you know there's something a bit grubby about her you kind of suspect the fingers are not quite as clean as they should be. And, you know, the pork chops and the cooking and everything is all a bit un unpleasant and greasy and yeah. Um, but you start to get all this little pool of ideas together and, you know, somehow or other it all becomes part of the mixture. And um, you hope that by the time they say, okay, turn over action, that what you envis envisioned actually comes out and you deliver it you know but it's a, it's a journey but i you you can't do it without help and support but it, it, she was such a great character to get my to get my head around and i absolutely loved every minute of playing her you nailed it i mean it, the you. character comes across as so menacing and unlikable right from the very beginning that Good, you just yes. see her and you're like uh oh Shit's about to go down. <laughs> yes, well, that's absolutely right. And I think that that opening shot of her was so, Tom, the director, was so clear of how that shot should be. And it was very meticulously staged. Props were in the absolute right position. That overhead lamp from the on the kitchen table was absolutely in the right position. And so that you could kind of reveal her in this kind of rather foreboding and theatrical way and yeah even before she's opened her mouth you do think oh dear oh dear this isn't going to end well thank you very much that was a great answer thank you scott thank you all right take care best of luck with the film and all the millions of other projects you've been working on <laughs> thank you thank you bye for now bye, bye.